Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's had a great day, safe day. Had a great Thanksgiving. Kick into the end of this November, into December. Here we go, baby. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want them to, is like trying to change a dog into a cat, a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 67, NASDAQ's up 10, S&P's off 6.5. Gold, gold contract type trading up $11.30 at 2034 an ounce. We have silver up 36 cents, $25.55. $25.05 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 61 cents. $74.92 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note up 19 ticks, trading 109. The 30 year up a full point plus five ticks at 116 flat and king dollar. King dollar right now trading down 194 ticks, 103.2. Whoops, there we go. Sorry about that. 103.210. Euro is at 109, yen's trading at the 148 mark, and the British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, we take a look at the S&P first. What you gonna, we've, we're, we've been in an ABC structure on the way up. The bisect and this little baby right now. So we are done. We had taken the B point out all the way a couple weeks ago now. That's when we were at uh, the 430 level. Okay, blew away that B point, blew away with volume. That gives you a price projection of 462. Now, when that first happened, I mean, that seemed like a long way away, but guess what? Then you had another gap up. You've been laying out here, and you're laying out here right at, right below the last swing high from six months ago. So I suspect what we're going to see, you're building some cars right now. I suspect, number one, we're going to get that, you know, 462 level. And see, the timing is set up pretty cool here, too. Because what you have is that, you know, we're back from vacation. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. You're back from vacation. You're coming into window dressing. You've only done, on the second you know, get-go. So if we look back, you know, a year and a half ago, okay, that's where your highs were, were generated. First time down, you came down, you did a 0.618 retracement of the larger move. Second time, though, and this is crucial to understand, you only did a 0.382. So when you do a 0.382, that's a strong market. And we're right at the very top of that right now. So we'll see how we, we handle the top of that because what you'll also be able to get out of this, we're going to get the information just depends what the information is going to say. We're either going to have, a, have the volume behind the move, and you get another ABC structure up, and that's a big one, okay? Or you don't get the volume, and you just finish off more than likely the 462. So when you get ABC structures, the cool thing about them, folks, is that you have a roadmap. That's what it comes down to. Now, you know, it'll either work or won't work, but you're going to get an answer. That's, that's the cool part about this. We get into the gold contract. So... Gold, we take a look at this contract here, and what you're going to see, actually, I'm going to do, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do the, the generic one. The reason I'm going to do the generic one is that you can just see how long we've actually been here, and in the context of, if we break, you know, my take is that it's going to be an ABC structure up. This has been a huge amount of cause, folks, okay? This is like big time cause. And it's going to be the same type of deal. Either, you know, we've been up here three times <coughs> prior to this, and it hasn't made it. Each time that we got up into this, uh, these, these higher levels at the, what is that, the 2063 level, or 2013 right now, it's given it up. So we'll see what happens this time. Uh, because of the way that the equities are trading, my take is that we're actually going to break topside. Because uh, if you haven't got the gold report yet, now's a great time to do it, folks, okay? Uh, what you've had out here is that there's about five equities inside the 
gold and silver market that have actually broken the consolidation, they've broken it with volume, higher prices are coming at you. And when you see that, particularly because it's been a three and a half year consolidation, it makes the big deal. Now, when you put that together with the aspect of the 10 year, you can see that this is the, we, we finally broke the 4.4. Right now you're at 4.38 on the 10 year. If we go take a look at the 10 year, you know, bottom line, this 10 year wants higher price, lower yield. And, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. This has been consolidating here now about three weeks. Um, it's a nice setup, man. It's a nice setup. And the 10 year looks to me like right now we're running the 109. 114 is in the game. And when this 10 year number one gets some juice behind it, momentum behind it, this is a monster move, folks, okay? You know, because we've been in a higher rate environment now for, you know, since, well, almost two years, right? So the bottom line, when you have a turn like that, it's huge. And then, of course, what ends up happening? Well, when you get lower rates, you're going to get a lower dollar. And we take a look at this dollar, bottom line, it's at the bottom of the consolidation that's already in right now is we are at 103.217. Well, it's 99.578. That's where this thing is the, the first level down. And, you know, we'll see how it handles that. But what does happen is that then you get, when you get to that level, you also get in the lower range. And once you get in the lower range, what that does is actually open up the 85 level, okay? So that's pretty intense. But it looks to me like that's exactly where we're going. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 80 at the NASDAQ, up 6. S&P's uh, off 7.5. Gold's up 11 bucks. Let's go take a look at that oil market. So oil, that's been moving around like wildfire, man. And we take a look at that oil market. So just a sideways move out here today, but you can see from last week, well, that's a high volume low from last week. So oil looks to me like it's gonna be traveling down to this uh, 68 to $70 mark. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back.